Good morning, Breen Collectors. Um, it's early uh, Monday morning and um, it is March 25th. So this is the debut and release of all of the, um, uh, I guess like fall and Christmas of Patricia Breen 2019. So um, this is such an exciting time. You can see some little guys next to me here. We did get a shipment um, of, a small shipment of the collection so that you can see it. It will be up on our website. And then we're going to do videos um, in higher quality with the specific ornaments, but I wanted to do this. I hope this works. I just have my camera like flipped on me so no one's even um, videotaping but me. Uh, but I wanted to show you what they look like very quickly. So this will just be a brief, um, I have like post-it notes on them because I don't know all their names yet and I haven't um, worked on all my adjectives for the descriptions but I wanted to get this information to you as quickly as possible because I know that you're as excited as I am to see these. Um, but <clears throat> sometimes it's hard when you don't have it in your hands like I do. So if I can show you on video what they look like, um, I feel like that, right? Does that help? I hope so. Okay, so, um, and this is my first time doing this. I hope the lighting, it's just, it's gotta be, right? So this will be quick. Don't be mad if it's not great because we'll do other videos later. Du, du, du. All right, so, um, this is the first one. This is the anniversary reflector. I hope that you can see him. Um, he's there in the reflector, the little guy there uh, with the moon. And then you can see all of the detail here um, with all the different little planets and shooting stars. Um, this side here is actually very, very cool. I wanna make sure that you can see that. Okay, so there's lots of detail all throughout the entire ornament. Okay, so that is, um, and then I don't, I haven't even looked. Um, I don't have that in front of me of all the different colorations, but um, at least you know that's the anniversary reflector. Um, let me just look here. This one is called Snow and Magic. And I love him. I love the incorporation of the Santa and the snowman together. Uh, and his scarf is to die for. I want it so bad in the plaid. Um, and then you can see the beautiful uh, imagery here of the um, snowman. And then all of this snow is kind of layered up on the base. And then he's holding that adorable snowman. So he's great. Again, he is snow and magic. And then um, he has just these little gentle um, little snowflakes on his back. <laughs> There's a lot here. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, set you down gently. Next, um, I will show you through the night forest. And this is uh, one of my favorites so far because I love the trees. Um, he is so elegant, so beautiful. Um, and then on the front, uh, Santa's actually decorating the Christmas tree. The crystals on the um, tree itself are beautiful. And there's all these little presents underneath. You get the snow a uh, little, little capped at the base there. And then, wait for it, what I love <clears throat> is when you spin it around, all of that garland that is decorating the tree is also like just gently swaying and um, decorating the Santa. Isn't that cool? I like him. Okay, so that is Through the Night Forest. I just wanna set these ones aside that I've talked about um, so that I have room because um, it is like a snowman fest or a Santa fest here. There's a million of them. Okay, so Star Struck Santa is here. Another outstanding piece. Um, and he is holding in this, it's actually a bag. So I don't know if you can see how this is, but this is actually a bag here and he's got it open and then it has, um, again, it ties into all of that um, with all the little planets and the moon. I don't know if you guys have seen the moon lately, but it's been ridiculous here in, in Racine. Uh, and then he's got a gorgeous bottle brush tree and then those wonderful um, same embellishments and decorations throughout. So you could make a great collection with this. 
um, or if you are trying to um, have some more variety of your pieces hanging on the tree or in your collection, um, I think this is a great piece. Isn't that, I just, I think that's incredible. Okay, I'll keep moving because we're gonna do, don't worry, we're gonna do more videos um, later, like on each one specifically. So this one's called The Gift, and that's The Gift right there, that awesome little rocking horse. And then um, I gotta look at the front because I can't remember. Okay, so um, I think he just, he just painted it. So on the table um, is all the paint and everything, um, all the work that he just made to make this uh, rocking horse. So you can kind of see the imagery at the base and what's there. Okay, so then there's some presents at the base of him. I think that's pretty cool. And again, it's got this um, beautiful garland kind of draping underneath his beard. And um, I love that incorporation. Ooh, some, some sunlight's coming in. Good morning. Uh, that's him. And then he's in red, and then he's got the gold stars on the back. And he's got gold glitter on the base and kind of on the trim of his coat. Let me make sure I don't forget anybody. All right, who wants to be next? Okay, I love this one. This is called With the First Step. Um, and he has, let me just take him off because I, I love this one. I super love this one. Um, with the first step. And he has, the, check out these snowshoes. Um, I have snowshoes and I love them and they're great. And the way that these were made are phenomenal. Uh, so he's got the um, snowshoes and uh, the imagery here is Santa feeding the reindeer some apples some nice, healthy, delicious apples so that they have their endurance and they're healthy and they can just keep trucking through the winter. Uh, and then the snow-capped trees, these evergreens all along the back um, is stunning. He, um, he's definitely like a wow, don't you think? I mean, what one isn't, but in any case, all right, I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes, so I'm going to hurry up. Okay, Joy Noel Collin, I hope I said that right. It's B3938, and this is silver. Maybe it's better if I hold it for you so it's not all rocking. Okay, so he is, um, I don't know, the imagery on here is incredible. So you can see that he's holding the ice skates, and I love that you'll see this, like, um, incorporation of... Um, these elements of where Santa's, all, when you see that he, more and more that he's holding something and they're all different and unique. So these are these beautiful ice skates. Uh, and then the imagery on here um, is actually Santa skating. So he looks, I mean, it's better, well, it'll be better with the other camera, um, but it's just beautiful. And the, the ice pond is um, all shiny, and gorgeous and then when you turn it around, you get like a whole nother Santa. So he has got this beautiful imagery of a combination of the evergreens and deciduous trees. I love the way that that looks. Um, I should get one of those little ornamotors and just put them on there and then you could see it all the way around. But, and he's got his little silver boots. Okay, so that one I, I really like. And this is for Casey. This is a very cool one. Okay, for Casey, all right? Uh, and this one has the snow shovel. Uh, on the snow shovel is like a reindeer, and um, on the reindeer is presents. He's carrying presents in a very unique way, because how he develops, what do you do it? Uh, so that is on there, and then you'll see this beautiful, um, oh, I didn't know if it was a barn. Is that an actual home? Uh, again, I'm just seeing these for the first time with you, so uh, I have to look at it and see what is going on. But uh, the house is all lit up and um, kind of tucked away in the woods here, and you can see all of the beautiful trees on the back. I mean, wow. So that is him. He's gorgeous. I love it. I love that snow shovel. Um, and the detail with that. Okay, 
I gotta keep talking faster. Okay, so this is Happy Christmas Truman. Um, and this one is, uh, is in this beautiful, I'm gonna move this real quick, elegant coat. Okay, so this is a little bit broader, healthier, jollier Santa. Um, so he's a, it seems to me like he's a little bit whiter. Um, and then this snow, these crystals are kind of coming up onto the coat, like let's just say he's walking through and that's just what would naturally happen. Um, and then you'll see that it has kind of like the night sky image of, of Santa taking off um, and on his way with a reindeer and then he's holding these presents and then this beautiful ribbon um, is spilling down the front. Oh man, I'm over 10 minutes already. Okay, all right, let's go, let's go. Studio made is coming over. Man, I don't know, they're all great. Okay, so this is Studio Made and this one has an amazing amount of additional, you know, um, uh, they're not really ornaments, but these little elements that are incorporated onto the piece. So you can see every unique present is at the base. And look at this little car. Can you see him? I mean, what? And this little horse and more presents. Um, the detail is, is phenomenal. Uh, and that is a little, um, the bow, the ribbon on top of the present. And that is a kite that he's holding, I love that. And then a beautiful bottle brush decorated tree. And that was studio made. So this is all the presents that the studio made. I love it, okay? So again, I, I'm gonna keep moving, I think. Um, garlanded is here. Um, awesome, just like classic Santa. Uh, and then in his garland, this is a, like a, a um, stocking garland. So it's got these three stockings across the front. Um, and it has this kind of little, I'm drawing a blank on what this is called, but like this little um, plaid, it's not that, um, across the front. I'll work on this, guys. We'll get better. We'll do our individual videos. But on the back, I love the detail. And I love these snowflakes. Um, I do. It reminds me of um, when I first started taking over Berean ornaments and uh, Santa for Eric, my brother, came out in the red version. I loved because I loved these snowflakes that were all um, different and unique. But he is just really elegant. Okay. Keep moving. Chip, chop, chip. Okay, so we have four more. Hope that's okay. And now the star. Uh, I love this piece. Look at this tree. It's really incredible. And the tree is decorated um, with all of these ornaments on it. So these are actual like little um, ornaments that are decorated that are that are, you know, it's real. So that is very cool. And then it kind of plays back to it uh, with ornaments that are painted on his coat. And then he's just about to put the star on the tree. And it looks like it's not gonna be a challenge because Santa's nice and tall. Uh, so he doesn't have to climb up a ladder or anything. Good for him. And then um, the back has these just simple, you know, I think she does a great uh, balance of when there's a lot going on in the front then it's pretty clean and simple in the back. Um, but then there are other times when it has, it's a little bit more simple in the front, so then she will do a little more embellishment in the back. So you always get a lot of bang for your buck, right? Um, candied snowman, this one hangs super nice. Um, I don't, I don't wanna hang it now because it's just gonna swing a little bit, but you can see the snowman's on this candy cane and it's got this little peppermint right in the middle which I like, because otherwise I feel like this would look too long. Very, very well thought out. And then um, someone's just hanging there, hanging out uh, with his presents, ready, ready for, ready for Christmas. So that is a really adorable piece. And then this one is called To Give, and he has a base. So I did have him sitting over here. You could. Um, I would just secure him, you know. I mean, you don't want to lose him, but you can hang him, too. He's got a hanger. Uh, and To Give, um, he has, uh, I just want you to take note of these little jingle bells. 
hanging uh, right out of his little satchel there. His little, I don't know, it's not your traditional sack, but maybe he's just doing a small little special side job here, a little delivery. So there isn't a ton in there. I'm doing this with my phone, so be kind. Um, and then the little tree. And then you'll see the little stocking that he's holding. And I do like that he's raised up on this. I think, I don't know if you can tell, but here he is standing. That's what he would look like. Um, I like that. And then another piece, uh, this is called the Sound of Christmas. So you can see he's just sitting here, uh, would be totally fine, but he can also hang. So this is a nice size uh, and um, I love the detail in this piece. So if I move the tag, hopefully you can see um, all of the trees kind of framing him out. So all the trees are in the back. And then as you spin it out and um, look at him on the front, he's got a, well, he is a Santa, but it's like a nutcracker looking Santa um, and then a present. So he's just, just hanging out, just getting a little break, sitting down. Um, and holding on to these two pieces and then the drum the drum itself is beautifully decorated isn't it I think it is um, so I'm really really happy with this piece and again this is called the sound of Christmas makes sense right um, so we will do all I think that's everything uh, we will do all indiv individualized videos of each of these pieces but I wanted to just get this on, pop it on, send it out with our email today because um, the first day is always super exciting, isn't it? It's just like, oh, Christmas, New Year, um, all the new pieces. How does she do it every year with something more and more amazing? Um, always, always captures us and captures our hearts. Um, and we are, we're loving it. We're loving it. And we're so thankful that the studio got us these ornaments. Is this crooked? I don't know. Uh, got us these ornaments so that we could show them to you because I think that's really important. Uh, so watch for our videos. I think I'm gonna snag my husband um, maybe this afternoon or tomorrow night to crank out all these videos um, with a good camera so that you can see them all. But um, you can order online, you can call, um, you can email, you can send in if you ordered your portfolio. I think you can still order your portfolio this week but then I'll probably be gone after this week. So um, I always like the uh, having the portfolio because it's kind of a commemorative. I have them from every single year, and I think that that's important. Uh, and I love to just look at those renderings um, just to have them. So happy Monday, March 25th. Happy debut of Patricia Breen, uh, full collection 2019. We love you guys, and we'll be keeping you updated.